Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to April's on a Budget. I'm April and today I'm going to be unstuffing my wallet and restuffing it for next week. Alright, I feel like I'm missing a binder here because this all seems like it doesn't fit and I'm not sure why, but it seems like there's a big gap there or something. Anyway, alright, so... How is everybody this week? I'm good. Um, I was a very good girl this week. Now, I did change my light. I moved it over slightly because I did notice last week that I had a massive glare. It may still be there. I did try to see, but unfortunately, the clamp covers the screen on my phone. So I can't actually see the screen to see if there's a spotlight. So if there is, I apologize. Um, <clears throat> I'll try to work on it. That I need a new overhead uh uh clamp for my light uh just because it hangs kind of weird there um <clears throat> anyway uh so i went to michael's today i was very proud of myself because i oh i'm lying i almost said i didn't spend anything but i'm totally lying okay you may not have known it but i just paused the video <laughs> so anyway i bought this so this is mystifying mints um and it looks like a little ouija board which is like super cool move it over here just in case it's all over here just in case it's glaring uh anyway i bought this it was ridiculously expensive considering it's just a can of mints it was 11 dollars, which is insane and i don't even know if i like the mints but i definitely like the can so that's why i bought it for the can but other than that i did resist temptation i bought a lot last year um for my halloween decorations at home and I did spend a, a lot of money last year and I did regret it shortly after um so like I bought that stuff I had it for a couple weeks and then packed it away and haven't seen it since so essentially when I pull it out this year it's all going to be brand new anyway to me um and I was only able to use maybe maybe I don't know one sixth of the things that I bought could fit on my on my desk last year so uh, yeah I'm not gonna be able to use most of it anyway so I thought well you know what I'm not gonna bother buying any but I did go to the dollar store and send, spend $27 there uh, however most of it actually I should pay myself back that money because uh, most of it was a um, couple bits of food like treats snacks that sort of thing for Abby's lunches that I like to get at the dollar store because it's just cheaper there I got uh, sorry I bit my tongue like three days ago and I just keep rebiting it because it's swollen now and so it's really hard for me to talk so if I sound like I'm talking kind of funny or slurring a little bit that's why uh because my, that that side of my tongue keeps banging against my molar back there and it hurts so mm. and I'm sure hot coffee is not helping I should be drinking something cold but anyway I digress uh what was I saying I can't remember um, oh yeah, $27 at Dollarama. So I bought things like freezer bags, um, some snacks for Abby's lunches. Uh, what else did I buy there? Chip bag clamps, you know, like um, also for like cereal box bags, um, that sort of thing. But anyway, household stuff. So I should actually reimburse myself that. Actually, I think I might. I might. After I do this video, I think I'm going to take $25 out of household and I'm going to give it back to me. Uh, anyway, <laughs> okay, so Abby, uh, she did not spend her five this week. And that is all I have in my entire wallet this week is Abby's $5 bill. Gas, if you remember, I did have a 20. I did top up my tank with that 20. Um, just because I have only one working day coming up this week and... Um, I knew if I threw that 20 in, I would be good for gas, so I just threw that in. So, um, no gas, miscellaneous has nothing, groceries has nothing, and April has nothing. Now, the reason that April has nothing and miscellaneous has nothing is because I decided to um, cash out some loonies from... Uh, I can't remember where it was loonies and toonies. It was from one of the savings challenge binders, but, um, I just decided to cash it out for coin, uh, because there was just too much coin in there. So what I have left is basically what I took out. So it's two, four, six, 
8, 10, 12. So I have uh, the 10 um, plus a couple bucks. Oh, no, no, I'm actually short like $4. I don't know where I spent it, but I don't have it. So anyway, so that is just going to go in here. Um, Tyson did leave me change, but I left it over on the coffee table, but I don't need to grab that right now anyway. So <clears throat> let me just take care of Abby's five. So this is going to go into her rollover for this week. This is going to be her first official full cash stuffing in her binder this week. That will be in the next video. Uh, so I actually divided my money up properly today. I sat down and reorganized my budget sheet so everything's in order and in the correct binders and all of that, which took me forever. So let me do this, and then I do have something else I want to do uh, before I play my games. So uh, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 dollars going in here, which is a little less than normal, but I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so Abby is getting her five dollars. So that is for her spending this week. Fuel is not getting anything because like I just said, I just put that 20 in and topped it up. Um, I still have about three quarters of a tank of gas because I put that 20 in. Um, so, and I only have one trip to work this week, so that should be fine. I went to see uh, um, Samantha today, uh, so I probably won't be going to see her before, between now and the next time I cash stuff anyway. So that would be the only way potentially I may need to put gas in, but I doubt it. Uh, miscellaneous is getting its normal $5. Groceries is not getting. Um, Tyson went grocery shopping. I was like, did we go grocery shopping this week? We did We did not. Tyson did. Tyson went grocery shopping this week. So, uh, and as per usual, I don't get 10. He didn't save me $10 for milk. So, if I want milk, it's basically coming off of the credit card. Uh, personal is getting 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So, I'm just going to make this easy this week. I'm just going to take 10 out. That goes to me. And the rest... I'm going to use for games so that I don't need to go back into my wallet. All right, so that's done. <clears throat> Excuse me. So before I move on, because I was going to do this to start with and I completely forgot, I have Happy Mail. So uh, I got Happy Mail this week. Uh, one of it I actually got last... Oh, gee whiz, throwing stuff around. Uh, one of it I actually got last week, but... Why do I have $5 sitting here? 5, 10, 15, okay, that's my card. Right. Uh, one of it I actually got last week, but I forgot to put it in the video. Um, and then I was gonna wait, cause I'm actually expecting a couple more Happy Mail, but they didn't come in time for this video. So um, I just thought, you know what, I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, partly because, um, you know, I can split it up into two videos anyway. And the other reason is because Bella, who sent me this one, is me. Look at what she put open on camera no peeking so I couldn't even peek um thank you Bella <laughs> so I'm gonna open this one in a minute but first I'm going to do this one um so this one is sent to me by Bobby at Canadian Finance Journey I can't say it uh Canadian Finance Journey I struggle with that every time um so thank you very much Bobby this is very kind of you I did know what was in it before I even opened no I opened it I was a little bit confused, grateful, but confused. And then Bella opened the same thing on her channel and was as confused as me. And then I was very happy that she did it on camera. <laughs> so her confusion was a little bit live. <laughs> so, so I guess Canadian Finance Journey, she does Bobby. I'm just going to say Bobby. So I guess she does a group play. Um, I don't quite understand the group play, and please, if anybody knows anything about the group plays, do explain it down in my um, comment section, because I did look it up today to try to sort it out, but I watched several videos from different people, and I just can't quite sort out what's happening there. Um, so anyway, she sent me this. So first of all, there's these two 
cute little stickers. So little, I love this, little flowers. And uh, enjoy today. I'm going to have to stick this one to something because that's like one of those um, reminder stickers that I like. And then she also sent me a little dream catcher and uh, home is where you park it. Oh, now I'm sad because we're selling my trailer and I would have loved to put this in my trailer. Oh, well, I'll put it on my next one. Anyway, she sent me this happy birthday and I'm like, but it's not my birthday. So I was confused. I was very confused. Uh, but happy birthday. I'm not aging. I'm just increasing in value exactly like uh, exactly as fine wine. She sent me this one, which is 50. Um, and uh, I'm assuming it says $50. For my 50th, I'm 51, but it is, I'm in my 50s, so it sort of made sense to me. And then she sent me this, which is basically welcoming me to uh, the group play. And then that was the part that kind of, oh, there's another sticker. That kind of confused me, but as it turns out, she basically, uh, I think just kind of as like an invite, um, she just picked a bunch of people that she has either purchased stuff from or just has our addresses because we've purchased from her in the past and uh, and just sent us all of this just as a gift, which was so, so very kind. So thank you very much, Bobby. Um, I really appreciate that. So uh, good vibes only and a little, it looks like a record player that doubles as a swimming pool. So that's really cute. So, uh, and then her, her note, which I'm not going to read, um, but uh, yeah, so it's just welcoming me to the group play. Um, so I would like to join the group play if there is one. So um, do explain it, somebody to me, and I will. Now, um, these I'm just going to set aside because I made a decision this week and I've been working for the last couple of days on figuring it out, but things are coming January 1st. So this will be included in that. Uh, so I'm going to set that aside and now move on to this one, which is a secret, apparently, that I'm not allowed to know until now. Oh, I see, and I was going to cut it. Now, I don't have scissors over here with me because I wasn't smart enough to... Oh, I ripped it. I wasn't smart enough to grab my scissors. And they're way over there. Oh, my gosh. So now I can do this the hard way. But that's okay. I did it. I think. Well, sort of. Oh, gosh. Yeah, my tongue hurts. You know how when you bite the side of, like, you bite your tongue and then because it's swollen, you just keep repeat biting it? That's what I'm doing. Oh, my God. This is tight. How did you get this in here? Wow. Oh, look at that. <gasps> it's the loose change one. I love that one. Okay, wait. Oh, there's more. There's more. Oh, another little scratchy thing. And, oh, another little scratch off of her pets. I do have this already. So now I have it twice. Cute. Thank you, Bella. Very cute. So this is um, for scratching. Oh, look. Saving me simple witch's hat. Oh, you know what? You know what? I don't know. Did I? Let me just check real quick. I think. Or did I? Oh, I did. I couldn't remember. Oh, okay, that's okay. I'll put it in the next one. Uh, I couldn't remember if I replaced that last scratch off with something, but I did. So I'll put it in the next one that finishes. I'll, I'll replace it with this. Thank you very much, Bella. So this is getting added to Wizarding Wednesdays. Okay. Oh, that's... Uh, it, oh, she didn't say if I can... Well, she did say to open it on camera, so I'm going to assume that if there's anything in here that I'm not supposed to read on camera... Um, oh, well, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's your fault. Uh, April, thank you for always being so supportive of my channel and my store. I have included the entire three-piece set of the hit and miss challenges. Ooh, uh, consider it an exclusive one-time buy one, get two free deal. If you don't have a use for the other two, feel free to give them away or throw them out, whatever you'd like to do. Well, of course I wouldn't throw them away. I also included a brand new game. The denominations are between one and ten dollars. There are no twenty-five dollar spots on the one hundred dollars or seventy-five dollar versions. I also kept Wizarding Wednesdays in mind while choosing your freebies, so you can incorporate them if you'd like to. 
Uh, the witch hats are a given, but I thought the ghosts look a lot like Dementors too. I hope you enjoy. Happy budgeting, Bella. Aw, thank you, Bella. Okay, now I'm excited. Okay, so, uh, loose change. So, now, I ordered at least one thing, but I'm not sure. I can't remember how which ones I ordered and which ones I did not. I think I ordered this one, but I could be wrong. Um, so, this is loose change. Um, scratch each spot, whichever coin you uncover, save the dollar amount, i.e., penny equals, oh my god, a penny equals one dollar, a nickel equals five dollars. Is there a twenty? Is this the one that you're saying that there's no twenty-five dollars on, so there's no quarter? Is it just like nickel, dime, penny, nickel, dime, no quarter? Oh gosh, I hope so. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. Um, and then this one I for sure ordered part one, but there was not a part two. There was only a part one on peaking, uh, Disney classics dance list. Oh my God. I'm so excited to do this. Um, so this is the Disney version. If you watched, um, I just completed the hit or miss last week or the week before. Um, so I ordered this one, which I'm super, I was super excited about getting. And then let's, let's dance list. Oh God. I, I listened to country music in like, like forever. I'm, yeah. I'm that girl. Um, so I probably know none of these songs. <laughs> so that one's probably going to be expensive. Uh, same thing as a sing along list, unless it's country or Disney music. I don't know it. Um, Oh, loose change. A second one. Did you mean to give me a second loose change? Also, there's no Dementors one. There's no Ghost one. Wait. Oh, that's no. No, that's just one loose change. I just looked at the same one two times. But, Bella. Oh, there's more. <laughs> Dementors. Okay, ghosts. Yes, I can see how these would look like Dementors. And yes, I will definitely use that. And I'm glad that there's two because usually when I do... Um, the, the Harry Potter savings challenges. I like to have at least a couple from um, uh, that creator so that I'm um, playing them for more than just like a week or two. So that's super exciting. Thank you very much, Bella. So I will include these as soon as I empty the next envelope, which shouldn't be too long because I think I'm close to being done one. All right, so now I will set all of this aside and unfortunately I think most of this because I have been planning a month or two ahead at the moment and most of this is probably not going to be played until after we get back from Disney uh, because I have already decided what I'm going to be doing with this each and every week from now going forward until Disney so that will be until November 5th so here's the thing I have sold I don't even know how many of these. I would say upwards of around 50, 60, maybe even 80 of these books. Um, and I have not played them. And I love them. So I said, you know what, April? Play your own darn book. Uh, so I did. Now, I did struggle if I was going to do the Halloween one or if I was going to do the Snow White one. But since this money is for Disney, I, I thought, you know what? I'm going to do the Snow White one. So that's what I'm going to do. Before I do that, though, I do need to make change. So if... The sound of coin coming out of a jar bothers you. Mind your ears. Because I because oh, I need to make change. Oh, there's five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, only because I just have a feeling I will need change for this. Oops. I almost ripped off the nickel nest egg. So I do this often, by the way, I come into this for change. And then when my binders get overloaded with coin, I go back into there and swap it back out. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. Just want to make sure I'm not taking too much. Now, I'm super excited about this because 
um, yeah, it, it occurred to me. I'm like, I love this book. I made this book for me. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to sell this book after I made it for me. And then I never played it. So anyway, Enchanted Book of Savings, page one. So how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to flip through the book. I got these super cute, super cute little rose gold Mickey pins, um, paper clips. And uh, so once I run out of money, I'll clip that page and that's where I'll start next week. Okay. So this one, I need to decide, first of all, um, how much each happy face is going to be worth. Now, I don't want to make it too high because uh, I need to finish this in two months. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, that will be too high. So I'm going to make each one $2. I have no clue how many of those are. I've never actually counted. I'm sure I did when I made them, but I haven't ever since. So anyway, uh, I'm going to make, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do one. I'm just going to do one. Oh, I want to use black. Um, I'm just going to do one happy face for now. And then maybe if I make it through the book, I will come back and do more. But for now, just one little happy face. All right, so that is $2. I'm not gonna bother sticking it all in the envelope because uh, it's all going into the same envelope anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, grumpy. Um, so this one, each little bubble, one is the little wee bubbles are $1, $2, $3, and $4 for a total. Um, if you did the whole Bible cluster, it is $10. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, oh, I don't have a brown. Uh, you know, I was looking at Sharpies today, and I was going to get a Sharpie. What color should I do? I'll do blue, because they're bubbles. Um, and I was going to get a Sharpie, like a case of them. They're like $50. Oh, God, I can't even. Uh, okay, so because I only did two in the last one, I will do... Oh, that's not going to work. That is too dark or too light, I should say. So I'm going to do, uh, oh, that's ugly. I need markers. I need better marker colors. I just have these weird pastel-y ones, which were super cute at the time. But anyway, uh, so that is $3 going into Grumpy. Sneeze. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I just knocked over Rafferty. That is my two long nails got in my way. Uh, let me grab Rafferty there because he dropped his pot of gold. Oh, poor Raff. That's a little pot of gold. There we go. Okay. Sneezy. So I'm just going to do the Santa one. Oh my God, $8. Sneezy. I only have $25. This is the beauty of when you make these. Like, I, I have no clue what's under anything. You'd think I would, but I don't. Okay, so that is $8 from Sneezy. This one, I'm just going to make each gem $1 because there are a lot of them. Um, and I'm going to do two of them. So I will do... I'll just start up here. One and two. Now, some days I may be able to do more than that in here, but, oh, I need $2. Um, some days I may be able to do more than that in here, $3. But um, I, I just want to be able to play through as far as I can. Um, sleepy. So, uh, how, how Sleepy is going to work is, uh, oh, I should have grabbed a five-sided die. So each of these the Zs, Zs in Canada, are worth anywhere from one to five dollars uh but i'm you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna roll a dice and if it's a six i'll ignore it and roll it again eventually i gotta roll something besides a six the funny thing is i just got a bunch of new dye in the mail today and uh i had a five-sided in there but i didn't open it a four okay so i'm going to do a four which is ooh, i guess i can do that black because i don't have brown so I will color this little Z black. Oh, I just missed that huge traced line there. And I went right over it anyway. All right, so there is Sleepy's first Z. So 
so that is four dollars so i will put in a five and take out a one and yes i could just put 25 dollars in the envelope but what fun is that i want to play bashful oh darn i owe a dollar <laughs> so bashful each one is worth five dollars and um i'm gonna do that green and um yeah so i'm just gonna do one and color in a five uh so yeah if i have any extra money or whatever on savings challenge night i may may no promises um play in this a little bit but for now no so one dollar uh i owe I don't want to put I-O because it makes a big mess. I'll just put minus $1. There we go. And that is it. So I didn't quite get to play through the whole book. How many pages did I not get to? So Dopey, so one, two scratch-offs, the board game for Snow White, and then Happily Ever After, which this one will probably, I think I'll do this one um, $3 only because I did the other one. Oh, that doesn't work. Um, only because I did the other ones two and four so I will do I think it was anyway I don't remember but anyway this is three dollars so I'll make that three dollars now all right anyway that oh you know what I forgot to do uh who did I finish with sleepy look at me oh bashful I have such a great memory so dopey next week oh my god <laughs> it's like we're up at the paper clip. Oy -a -vee. All right. So I laugh at how many people get amused by me. They're, it's like, I know some people find it amusing. Other people are like just darn right annoyed. Um, and I apologize to you if you are. But anyway. Um, so there's my dashboard. Uh, I, I took out the Wizard Kitty one, which I will miss because I, I am used to seeing that one. And now all of this goes into here. And if everything goes according to plan each month, that should save me at least $100. So that will be good. All right. So, and I'm going to try to finish that between now and Disney, which means that when I have some extra money, uh, or maybe just, I may just, when I'm doing my savings challenge start like savings challenge night, actually I've made an executive decision and I've decided that on savings challenge night, I'm going to use my first $10 toward that one each and every week. Uh, or maybe if I have leftover money, I don't know. But anyway, thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, please remember to like and subscribe and I will see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye everybody.